Yes, hello and welcome back. Today we have my Grail Pen. A pen I wanted for many years after first seeing it in Munich on holiday years ago. This is the Caveco Supra Brass, which is essentially a larger version of the Lilliput. The Supra comes with a number 6 nib, which I love. Bigger nibs just look cooler. This pen also has a bit of a neat trick that allows you to extend or shorten the pen with a removable extender section. I'll show you how this works. Each section attaches via threads in the brass, making it all very secure. You can see that the section above the grip screws off. If you use a full size converter like me though, you can see that the barrel will not fit back without the extender in place. With a standard cartridge however, you can create what is essentially a lily put, only a bit thicker. The best thing about this is when the cap is posted with the thread on the bottom of the pen, it becomes a regular sized pen, so that this is really pocket friendly. And if you use the extender, unposted it is the same size, so it is quite versatile. I also like that you get this fancy tin with the pen. Here it is compared to the tin I got with my Quebeco Sport. Now to what I don't like. There aren't many things, but I have found this pen hard starts a lot. The nib is quite dry. I thought this might have just been with this specific nib, but this is my second nib on this pen. The first one also hard started, and then it had the misfortune to roll off my desk and hit the floorboards nib down, bending it instantly. Yeah, I died a little inside that day. I ordered a replacement and fine instead of the medium, and I've had the same issue. I believe they are Bok nibs, but they could be Yovo. I'm using the Supra with Organic Studio Nitrogen Royal Blue, which is currently my favourite ink. Overall I love this pen. The weight, the large number 6 nib, the patina my pen has obtained since I bought it, all make it feel special. I just need to buy an attachable clip so it doesn't roll off my desk again. If you have any questions about the Supra, leave a comment below. Otherwise, thank you for watching as always, and goodbye.